Hey, what's up guys? This video is going to be an unboxing and setup video tutorial of the double arm heavy duty uh, boom stand, uh, model DAW. Uh, so first things first, you want to make sure that you open it uh, facing up. So if you look at the arrows on the box, they're facing up. And you're just going to go ahead and uh, open it up. So after you open it up, there's going to be a styrofoam obviously. And also make sure that um, it is from the top, the top again. So the very top of the styrofoam is going to say up. Alright, so when you get the styrofoam out of the box, there's going to be tape around it. So just go ahead and remove that. Now there's a couple of parts in here. Let me go ahead and show you what they are. So the heaviest part in this box is the base. So that's actually right here. This is the base of the, the stand. Put that down. The other part here is the focusing rack. The focusing rack is what you attach to uh, the rest of the base so that um, this holds the, the head of your microscope in it, right here in this ring. Uh, this thing comes with a standard ring of 76 millimeters. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and remove the plastic. And here's the focusing rack. All right. Another part. This part is the, the pole that goes into the stand. So you would just go ahead and screw this on into the bottom of it. Here's another part. Remove the plastic. This part is what you secure the head and the focusing rack to. Um, and I'll show you how this goes together in a bit. And last but not least, this part is the double arm boom part, which allows you to slide your uh, microscope and head easily okay and I'll show you how this all gets put together all right so first things first you're gonna go ahead and get the base of the stand and this is the front where the logo is Amscope and after you get that you're gonna get the long pole right here and you're gonna screw it right in the bottom and it just goes in easily like this and make sure that you screw it it stops completely. Okay, so now that's secure. This part allows you to adjust the height of where you want the, uh, the longer double arm booms to stop. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and secure it right here. And basically you just tighten the knob until it's secure. See, it doesn't move anymore. And then the second part that you get is the part that holds basically uh, the head of the microscope in the focusing rack and all that stuff. And it should slide pretty easily, okay? So if you see there's a large opening here and all we're gonna do is just drop it right here on this, on the pole. And once it's here, uh, you can see it can move around freely. So what you could do if you want to stop is you could tighten it anywhere you want by just adjusting this knob. And after you do that, it should barely move, okay? So what we're going to do is, I'm going to have it facing this way. Okay, and I secured the knob on the back. And if you see here, this moves freely too, but if you ever want it to stop, there's why there's this knob right here. And when you tighten this, it stops the whole thing from moving, okay? It doesn't move at all. So I'm going to go ahead and screw it for a bit. And I'm going to get the other part. This part is what's going to hold. Um, uh, this part's going to hold the, the focusing rack of the microscope. So basically, the first thing you have to do is take this part, and you're going to attach it right here in the front. And it goes in quite easily. Okay. So let me just zoom up on that again for you guys. Okay. So again, this part. It has a screw and everything. You're just going to go ahead and place it right here. All 
Okay, so to attach the flexing rack, you're gonna go ahead and unscrew this bottom piece. Attach it straight to the bottom here. Just slides right in, just like that. And you can see that it sits freely here and it moves left and right. And if you don't want it to move, you just go ahead and screw this knob on the back really tight. Okay. Now that that's all set, some of you might be saying, hey, it still wobbles, okay? This still moves freely left and right. So what I'll have you do is you have to tighten. You have to put one more piece in here and I'll show you how that's done. Okay. So this is the part that stops uh, this part from wobbling left and right, okay? So if you look right here, there are these two screws at the bottom, one on the left, one on the right, and basically you're supposed to insert these two parts, okay? These two parts would be inserted in here, and then once tightened with the knob, it's gonna stop it from moving. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get this part here. So the first one, see how it's shaped with the little indentation here? And there should be a little small, small part um, for the screw here, okay? So I'm just gonna put this in here. So I have one part in in the back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and screw another part. So it's gonna be shaped like this, like that up, okay? And I'm just gonna put that in. And now that that's securely in there, on both sides, I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold one side with my hand, one side with my hand to stop it from popping out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the knob and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this. And just keep spinning it until it gets tighter. And once it's as tight as it could be, now the, the focusing rack won't move anymore. Okay, let me zoom out for you. So once that's tight, it doesn't, it doesn't move wobbly left and right anymore. So let's go ahead and do that again. See if I unscrew this. This loosens it and it becomes wobbly, right? If I tighten it, it stops. So that's the double arm boom stand. And let me show you, I guess, full functionality real quick. So, the double arm boom stand is meant for a stereo microscope. Heavy duty. This easily goes back and forth so you can move it around if you're on a workbench or something. Um, if you did need to look at something at a, a specific angle or whatnot, the head of the microscope would be here. And basically all you would do is um, unscrew this part. And if you had to angle it a certain way, if you're looking at something, you could do that and then tighten it. Um, I know some people, for some reason, they ask you if you could have it, I guess, facing a wall. I guess you could, but at the same time, you wouldn't be able to look through the eyepieces, so there would be no point in doing that. And it, again, if you needed to position it in a certain way, you have this part, and you can move it, and you could tighten it at a specific angle if you needed it to, but most people just have it facing straight down. And yeah, that's the Dilbarn Boom Stand. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, if you want to go ahead and see the stand on our main website, um, you could uh, check the links below in the box. I also have links to our Amazon page where you could purchase it on Amazon. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, again, comment below or email us at info at All right, have a good day, guys. Bye.